Cliff David from the W.P. Carey School of Business at Arizona State University. This is the final segment in a series of videos designed to help you understand how to create UML diagrams and use them as the foundation for creating relational databases. In this video, we'll enter data into the relational database that we've already created in Access. If you remember from our last video, we created a relationship between the operation and the doctor, and we enforced referential integrity. What that means is anytime you enter a record into the operation table, it's going to check, it being access, is going to check and see if there's a valid record in the corresponding doctor table. So I'm going to show you what happens if you try to enter a record into the operation table before you've actually entered in a doctor. Now, we specified that the operation number was going to be an auto number field, and so access will automatically create a new operation number. If I specify the date for the operation, let's say 4-15-2010, and oh, I don't have, that's an invalid month. Um, if I have a description of maybe this is brain surgery for doctor number one, the system is going to not allow me to enter that in. It's going to tell me that there's not a related record in the doctor table. So I'm going to say OK. And I'm going to switch to the doctor table. And I'm going to start by entering records into the doctor table first. This is more like a master table, one that's going to allow me to enter in other places. So if I'm going to say that this doctor's name is Jane Doe, his specialty is neurosurgery, board certification date of 1-1-2005, now I have a doctor entered into the doctor table with employee number one. If I continued and said Meredith Gray for general surgery, from 1-15-2007, um, now I have two doctors that have been entered into my table view. When I go back now to the operation, I'm going to be able to save that record because there's actually a valid doctor with doctor number one. That's all it takes to enter records into the database. Um, you just use the table view, and if you're not seeing the table view, um, click, you'll have a what looks like a spreadsheet up here. Click and you'll be in the table view, and if you don't have these tables open, double click on them and they'll open and you'll be able to enter data. This completes our series of videos on how to create relational databases. Thank you and I'd really appreciate any feedback that you have.